financial institutions. Our objectives for this section are to compare and contrast three types of banks that are found in our economy and explain the major functions of the Federal Reserve System in the United States economy. Banks operate on state, national, and international levels. There are strict rules for starting one because banks handle large amounts of money. To open a federal or a state bank in the United States, the owners have to meet special requirements. They must also apply for a charter from the federal or state government. The owner needs to prove that they have enough capital or money to start a bank. In the United States, there are three main types of banks. They are commercial banks, savings and loan associations, and credit unions. Most of the banks in the United States are commercial banks. Commercial banks offer the entire range of banking services, such as checking and savings accounts, loans, and financial advice. They are often called full-service banks. Commercial banks serve individuals and businesses. They are authorized to conduct business through a charter or license that is granted by either the federal government or a state government. To make a profit, commercial banks charge more interest on the money that they lend than the interest they pay on savings accounts. Savings and, loan, savings and loan associations are financial institutions that hold customers' funds in interest-bearing accounts and invest mainly in mortgage loans. Savings and loans were originally set up to offer savings accounts and home mortgage loans. Their purpose was to encourage people to save money and make it easier to buy a home or start a business. To do this, they charged lower interest rate on loans and paid higher interest rates on savings accounts than banks. In 1982, the government passed new regulations allowing them to charge higher interest rates and offer more services. In the late 1980s, about 20% of the savings and loan associations failed. In response, new regulations were passed. The services offered by savings and, savings and loan associations today are very similar to the services offered by commercial banks and credit unions. Credit unions are not-for-profit banks set up by organizations for their customers to use. Credit union customers are also called members. Credit unions offer members credit cards, checking accounts, low-interest loans, and high-interest savings accounts. Many of them also pay interest on their checking accounts. Other financial institutions, um, there are several other financial institutions that offer some of the same services as banks. Mortgage companies provide loans specifically for buying a home or business. Finance companies offer short-term loans to businesses and consumers, but at much higher interest rates than the bank charges. Insurance companies not only provide protection against problems such as fire and theft, but they also offer loans to businesses and consumers. Brokerage firms that sell stock and bonds may also offer a wide range of financial services to their customers. The Federal Reserve System is the central bank of the United States, also known as the Fed. The Federal Reserve is the banker's bank. It monitors the money supply. Congress set up the Federal Reserve System in 1913. Its mission is to provide the United States with a safe, flexible, and stable monetary and financial system. The Federal Reserve System consists of 12 regional Federal Reserve Banks and 25 branch banks. It also has about 5,000 member banks. The Federal Reserve is run by the Board of Governors. It supervises the 12 district banks and regulates activity on the member banks. The Federal Reserve has six functions. The first one, clearing checks. Funds are transferred from one bank to another when someone writes or deposits a check. Number two, acting as the federal government's fiscal agent. The Federal Reserve distributes money to Federal Reserve member banks and commercial banks. It also tracks the deposits and holds a checking account for the United States Treasury. Supervising member banks. The Fed regulates banks that are members of the Federal Reserve System. Number four, regulating the money supply. The primary responsibility of the Federal Reserve is to determine the amount of money in circulation and either increase it or decrease it. Number five, setting reserve requirements. Member banks must keep a certain percentage of deposit as reserves. Reserves are funds set aside for emergencies, such as a rush of withdrawals. 
And lastly, number six, supplying paper currency. The Federal Reserve is responsible for printing and maintaining U.S. paper currency. And that concludes Chapter 12 and Unit 3.